Hello, Ian here with Poker Atlas, and welcome to the third video of our Title 31 module, Tracking and Reporting. In this video, I will give you an overview on tracking using the transaction log. I will also go over both of our MTL reports, our minimal play report, and our monetary instrument log, all of which facilitate Title 31 compliance. Starting from the Table Captain main menu, I'm going to navigate to the transaction log. For tracking purposes, the top portion is going to show you a list of the current gaming day's manually logged transactions by default. The lower portion will show you transaction details. In a specific transaction, the top portion will show you transaction information. The bottom portion will show player information if linked to a patron. And the middle will have descriptive information if applicable. The top right will show your aggregate totals as well as a separate total for any automatically logged information such as tournament buy-ins or payouts and any promotional awards. Using the drop-down menu, you have a few ways to manipulate the list. Clicking Report Needed will show you all transactions for a player that needs a CTR report filed. Highlighting a transaction and clicking Report will change the status for that transaction to Reported. If I click Refresh, you can see that the transaction has disappeared from the needs reporting list. If I click yesterday, it will show you the previous gaming day. In this case, I had no transactions yesterday. Show last 500 records will show the most recent 500 transactions. Start date will allow you to view all transactions from a specific start date. To view our reports, navigate back to the home screen and then click player reports. Here, you will find your Title 31 reports, the MTL summary in full, the minimal play report, and the MIL. To pull one, click the desired report, select the business that you'd like to see the report for, and select your option for output. You will see the report pop up quite quickly. The first report we will look at is our MTL summary. Your transaction information will be on the left, and player information will be on the right. If we scroll down, we can see that any player that crosses the $10,000 reporting threshold will have the total in or out highlighted red for whatever breaks that threshold. <clears throat> if we go back to the transaction log, we can see that the $1,000 check and the $3,500 in chips directly matches up with the last two transactions logged. You can also verify that her totals match up from the transaction log to the report. The next report is the MTL full. Transaction information will be on the left. Player information will be on the middle, except this time we'll also have a picture. And personally descriptive information will be on the right. If a player doesn't have any personally descriptive information, it is because they were a known patron who had a transaction logged to their patron account. <clears throat> so it's important to note that not all players will have descriptive information. The next report is our minimal play report, which will show you all players over a certain threshold, in the case of my report, $3,000, and will show you all of the time played for those players. This report has been designed to help you flag anybody that may need a suspicious activity report filing. Our final report is the monetary instrument log, which will show you all monetary instruments cashed or purchased at your establishment. We've designed this to be printed and held for any audit purposes. <clears throat> that wraps up our Title 31 tracking and reporting video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos from Poker Atlas.